I feel like there's a way you can get... Yeah, you can get on the outskirts by going around like this. Here you can find Paralyze Hill. Might end up selling that for money because I'm so low on money for Pokeballs. If we go all the way around this way... Nothing. Oh, full heal. Well, that's a, that's that's a good item. That's an item I would not like to sell, but if it co worse comes to worse, I might have to. And down here we have TM28. Let me look at my TMs while I'm thinking about it, because I have a lot of TMs that I haven't really discussed or gone over yet. So we have rollout. We have Rock Smash, we have Sweet Scent, Dig, Mud Slap, Swift, Attract, Furry, Fury Cutter, not Furry Cutter, that's too mean. Uh, yeah, these are alright. Uh, roll Out, like I said before, it just does more damage the longer it goes on. Dig's a very good TM, uh, lets you be invulnerable for mean attack for a first turn, and then for the second turn you do a lot of damage. Although in this game, I believe this is the first game where Earthquake actually affects whenever you're digging, so you gotta look out for that. Then there's Mud Slap, a very weak ground move that, you know, it lowers accuracy. Faulkner had it, and that's pretty much it. I, I think I explained these other ones already. Okay, I think we're done with the uh, National Park. The initial visit of the National Park. Because now we can do the bug catching contest, which is what I'm more interested in doing for you guys. But first, let's see, I'm printing out my Pokedex. You can also print out stuff like mail in your PC boxes. I think that involves like the Game Boy printer accessory or something. This is mail I got from my stepdaughter, or my daughter. It cheers me up. Okay. Well, that's all. Let's, uh, let's go do the bug catching contest. Now, I'm going to put Zack, a.k.a. Laharlcoon, in front because we, he has uh, a per paralysis move, and that's going to be very, very helpful for this. Today is Tuesday. That means the bug catching contest is on today. The rules are simple. Using one of your Pokemon, catch a bug Pokemon to be judged. Would you like to give it a try? Yes, I would. Uh-oh. You have more than one Pokemon. You'll have to use Flaffy, the first Pokemon in your party. Is that okay? Yes. Fine, we'll hold your other Pokemon while you compete. Thank you for that. Here are the Park Balls for the contest. 20 Park Balls. The person who gets the strongest bug Pokemon is the winner. You have 20 minutes. If you run out of Park Balls, you're done. You may keep the last Pokemon you catch as your own. Go out and catch the strongest bug Pokemon you can find. So this is very similar to the Safari Zone in Generation 1. I do like the bug catching contest a lot better though, because I feel like it's a lot easier to capture Pokemon because you don't have to do the stupid rock and berry system where you have to feed Pokemon and then hit them with rocks. And it's overall just a lot better because you can also weaken Pokemon and give them status ailments and stuff of that nature. Overall, it's just handled a lot better in this game. A whole lot better. And I'm glad they did this. Only thing is, because the bug catching contest can only be held on one day, and you can only get one Pokemon per bug catching contest, all the unique Pokemon you can get, you have to come back and get at a later date and time. So, uh, Pinsir is honestly a good bet for winning the bug catching contest. If you can catch Pinsir, you should be pretty good to go. So I'm gonna try to catch him and use him for my entry. Now, for the bug catching contest, there are numerous factors that go into who actually wins the contest. There's basically how rare the Pokemon is, and Pinsir is a pretty rare Pokemon, so he's already gonna be a pretty good candidate for winning. But, 
You also have to keep in mind that, um, first of all, we can't let your Pokemon faint. And... Oh, thank God. Phew! Okay, yeah, so we, um... Okay, so the type of Pokemon you can get, the Pokemon you can get, uh, it also depends on level, and also depends on how much health the Pokemon has. I let my Pinsir have about half of his health before I caught him, so he should be in a very good condition to win. However, I could still easily lose. It's not a guarantee. So we have 19 minutes left. I'm going to go ahead and finish now. And we're going to look at the results. We will now judge the Pokemon you've caught. We have chosen the winners. Are you ready for this? Placing third was Picnicker Cindy, who caught a Metapod. The score was 302 points. Placing second was Pokefan William, who caught a Venonat. Okay, looking very good for me right now. The best bug catching contest winner is... Rob, who caught a pincer. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. The winning score was 361 points. Rob wins the number one prize, a sunstone. A sunstone is an evolutionary stone that can involve sunkern and gloom. So this is what we'll need to actually get Blossom. Thank God, so there we go. Please join us for the next contest. We'll return the Pokemon we kept for you. Here you go. And nickname, I don't really have any nicknames planned for Pinsir, so you guys could uh, come up with a nickname for that. Oh, hi, Anthony. Rob, good evening. It's me, Anthony. Got a minute? A friend just told me this. You saw a whole lot of Dunsparce in Dark Cave. Rob, you ought to go look. Okay, thank you, Anthony. He's going to actually make this a very successful backtracking session. But um, I'm going to go ahead and go over this right now very quickly. The Pokemon you can catch in the bug catching contest. The ones that you shouldn't have ran into already anyway. Uh, you can catch a Venonat. You can catch Scyther. You can catch Pinsir. And you can also catch whatever Pokemon is on the opposite version from the Caterpie and Weedle line. So... I could essentially catch Weedle, Kakuna, and Beedrill in the bug catching contest as well. So, over time, over the next few days, when I'm uh, done with this recording session, I'm going to be doing the bug catching contest to try to get those three Pokemon I still need to get. So, Venonat, Scyther, and uh, Weedle. So, I'll do that off camera. I'll also record me getting the Pokemon. So... I should have those at some point, but for now, we're going to do some backtracking. Our first stop is going to be Dark Cave, where Anthony was so nice to tell us that there are some Dunsparce available. Normally Dunsparce only has a 1% chance of appearing, but since they are actually in season, they have a higher chance of appearing now. So we should be able to run into one. So I'm just going to cut footage until we find it. There it is. Perfect. As a Pokemon, I am not a fan of Dunsparce. I think Dunsparce is a terrible Pokemon. He should never be used, ever. But if I want to finish the Pokedex, I have to capture him. Which is kind of stupid, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. I'm trying to think of what will do the least amount of damage to him, because he is level 3. That is kind of the problem. He is level 3 right now. I feel like Furret is the one that could do the least amount of damage, but even still, Tackle should still do decent enough. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try just throwing a Great Ball as it is. I should have I should have gone and got like another one of my Pokemon, because Ah. Oh. I could potentially do this with a full health though if it shook three times already. Come on, Dunsparce, come on. Ah, oh, come on. I really don't want to make this thing faint. 
trying to think. Are there any other moves? Uh, the only one I can think of that won't do much damage is Leech Life, but even then... Golbat is also at level 22. Or you know what? I can use Confusion. Of course! Confusion! Why didn't I think of that earlier? I'll wait till it gets into yellow before I start trying to capture it. Or even this might not be so bad. Okay. Swampire, I freaking love you. Dunsparce was caught, and I can officially get rid of Hiker Anthony from my uh, call list. Because this is all Hiker Anthony is good for, honestly. So, I'm going to name this, and of course it's a female, when it's supposed to be a male. Uh, after a fellow Let's Player and YouTuber, the Sample Man. I can't put the though, so it's just Sample Man. Or Sample Woman, whatever you want to call him. Okay, that takes care of frickin' Dunsparce. Perfect. But now, we're actually gonna backtrack. We're gonna go all the way back to uh, Route 29. So, I will see you guys when I get there. Okay, here I am on Route 29. First order of business, this guy right here. I'm waiting. Oh wait, not you. Actually, it's not you at all. Her, is it? Am I even in the right route? I may not even be in the right route. Hold on. No, I'm on Route 29. This is the right route. I feel like it should have been that trainer, though. Maybe maybe he's just in a different location. In fact, yeah, I think he is in it. Him? Oh, no, not you. You? Ah, here you are. I do believe that this is the first time we've met. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Tuscany of Tuesday. By way of introduction, please accept this gift, a pink bow. Wouldn't you agree that it is most adorable? It strengthens normal type moves. I am certain it will be of use. I'm sure it will, but uh, maybe not. Who knows? Okay, so let's uh, move on to New Bark Town. This is probably where I'm going to be finishing up this session, so let's go ahead and go to... I need to get my Pokemon out of the... Is there a PC in here? Oh, it's just a Pokemon healing machine. Uh, hold on a second, guys. Okay, I'm back here with the Togepi in my party. Rob, you look great! <gasps> what? That Pokemon! The egg hatched? So Pokemon are born from eggs. No, perhaps not all Pokemon are. Wow, there's still a lot of research to be done. Thanks, Rob. You're helping unravel Pokemon mysteries for us. I want you to have this as a token of our appreciation. And we get an Everstone. An Everstone is a very unique item that if you give it to a Pokemon to hold, it will prevent them from evolving. Now, why you will, why you would ever do this, I have no idea. Maybe if you just wanted to create a team for like a Pokemon Stadium Cup or something and you just want to prevent the evolution from happening, you could always do that, but... As far as I'm concerned, that just doesn't really seem worth my time. Not an item I really like using. And because we're trying to go for 100% on the Pokedex anyway, that would be very uh, counterintuitive to what we're actually trying to do. So, we're not going to be doing things that way. But yeah, that is your reward for showing Elm Togepi when he's uh, evolved, so got that out of the way, and that's pretty much all of the errands we can do right now. There might be a, another unknown thing we can do with the um, Ruins of Alf, but I don't feel like it's enough significant progress we can make right now, and I'm probably just going to wait until I have all of the HMs 
uh, before I do any more with that. So we're essentially done with everything I wanted to get through with in this session. So I'm gonna try to make my way back to Goldenrod, I guess. I might try to also capture a Growlithe too, just to kind of get that out of the way. Since that's a Pokemon I still need to catch, but aside from that, I think I'm pretty much done for the most part. I did all the events I wanted to do, I did all the backtracking I wanted to do. I made out very well in the frickin' bug catching contest, that's for sure. And, uh, yeah, making a lot of really good progress. This was a very, very successful recording session. The only thing that I can think of that I really wanted to happen in this recording session was the evolution of Golbat and the Crobat, but... I mean, I, I still gotta try to get Growlithe, so maybe I'll get lucky and have enough levels for that to happen, so you never know. But, um, yeah, a lot of very good progress. I'm very, very impressed with all the stuff we've been able to do here. And, uh, as far as training and grinding will go in between this session and the next session, not really sure how long that's going to take. I feel like I'm kind of at that point where Pokemon can start holding their own in battle. So as a result, I'll be able to actually train some Pokemon a lot easier. And uh, there are uh, some Pokemon that I'll still kind of have to struggle with, especially those I just caught. But there are some Pokemon that I think should also reach their evolution cap in this next training session too. So once that happens, that's like a lot less Pokemon I have to uh, keep track of. But now that I'm done uh, talking here, I guess I can go ahead and cut back to the area where Growlithe is found, so I'll see you guys in just a moment. Thank God! Ugh. That was like the fifth freaking Growlithe I had to uh, come across because... Every single time I went to a battle, he immediately used Roar, which basically cancelled me out of the battle. Which means Growlithe is probably one of the more annoying Pokemon to catch, but thankfully I have him. And I am going to give him a nickname. Unfortunately, he has the right gender, but whatever, that's a very minimal problem, I guess. Gonna name it after fellow Let's Player and friend of mine. Had the great pleasure of going with PAX, or not PAX, uh, to MAGFest with him uh, this past year. He went to PAX, I didn't go though. Tennis Bubba 13. And no, I did not spell it wrong. He only has one N in his uh, tennis name, so do not worry about that. Besides, it wouldn't have worked anyway if there were two N's, so this works. And, uh, there you go. That's pretty much all of the Pokemon I wanted to... Oh, right. My box. Thanks, Bill. Now, don't become a Joey now. <laughs> please don't become a Joey. Please, please don't. But, yeah, that was the last Pokemon I really wanted to catch in this session. So, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna start wrapping it up now. Thanks for watching, guys. In between this session and the next session... Uh, going to be doing some training, probably getting a lot of evolutions in the process. I'm also going to try to get all the Eevees that I'll need for the playthrough. I'm also going to try to trade over some Pokemon from uh, the Silver version I have, so I can get started on working on the uh, Pokemon from that gen, and uh, pretty much take it from there. So, I uh, hope thank you guys for watching. Next time, we're going to continue our journey in Ecruteak City and see where we can go from there. But until then, this has been Pokemon Trainer Rob. I will see you guys next time. Later, folks.